Boosie Badass might be facing some prison time. As stories making around is that the rapper got into a pretty heated fight with the promoters at the Legends of the Streets concert. Keep watching to find out what the media won't show you about Boosie's arrest. It's been almost three weeks into the month of October and Boosie has already had issues with the cops twice. You see, on October 2nd, 2021, during the Legends of the Streets concert in Atlanta, a fight broke out, which involved Boosie Badass. According to reports, there were several top stars at the show, including Rick Ross, Lil' Kim, 2 Chains, Gucci Mane, and Fabulous. Boosie Badass already had his two-minute performance on stage when he and some of his associates started damaging items that belonged to the production company. They went ahead to destroy property owned by the arena, which led the promoters to pull the plug on the show. That's right, the party was over and the vandalism call was made to the cops. Thankfully, no one was arrested. That was Boosie's lucky day, but little did he know that he was about to run out of luck. About a week later, the law came hunting for Boosie Badass on October 11, 2021, and he was arrested. According to a spokesperson at the Fulton County Jail, Boosie was arrested on charges for second-degree criminal damage to property, inciting a riot, disorderly conduct of property, and criminal trespass. The charges for which Boosie was arrested stem from the vandalism report at the State Farm Arena during the Legends of the Streets show on October 2nd, 2021. Boosie Badass was booked into the Fulton County Jail on late Monday, October 11, 2021, and he was released the next day on a signature bond. Before his arrest, Boosie claimed that he and his associates were jumped by some other guys at the concert. He went on to post a video on his Twitter account offering a $5,000 reward to anyone who could provide a video of one of the security officials who pulled a gun on him and his team. His tweet read, 5k reward for video of security pulling gun on me and my team at State Farm Arena. He could possibly go after State Farm Arena in a possible lawsuit. Now he claims a security guard at the arena pulled a gun on him and his team during a concert earlier this month. Well. Boosie had better lay his hands on that video because the police will need some evidence. From his recent Instagram captions after his arrest, it's safe to assume that Boosie was innocent of the charges brought against him. His caption read, the truth will come out in the end. Well, he may be innocent this time, but Boosie Badass has been guilty several times. You heard that right. Boosie has had several run-ins with the law, and he once faced a 10-year prison sentence. I know what you're thinking. The answer is, a lot. Boosie's had so much legal drama in his whole life that one could even lose count. Where do I start? On October 22nd, 2008, Boosie Badass must hit the month of October. He was arrested after he was found to be in possession of marijuana and a Glock. He, however, pleaded guilty to his possession of marijuana charge in 2009, and he was immediately sentenced to two years in prison. His sentence was, however, doubled, making it four years, where the judge found out that Boosie had violated his probation while awaiting sentencing. Boosie was electronically monitored and placed under house arrest the whole time. In June 2010, Boosie Badass and two associates, one of them only 17 years old at the time, were indicted on charges of first-degree murder of Terry Boyd. They were accused of being involved in the shooting of Terry Boyd at his home in, guess what month of the year it was? October. You got that right. It wasn't a good time for Boosie, as on the very same day, he was indicted on multiple drug and conspiracy charges for smuggling large amounts of c and on it in a prison with intent to distribute. At the time, Boosie claimed he was innocent of these charges, but his music was saying otherwise. In one of his tracks, I Know, Boosie was passing across a different message when he said, so put your fist up in your pockets and then bullets in the chamber. And I'm itching to kill. Give me a reason. I will. I'll end up gripping the steel. The man I spoke with near the crime scene points to the emphasis of Lil Boosie's lyrics on having, they have on getting rid of the problems with gunfire. It was hard to believe he was innocent. He, however, wasn't convicted on the murder charges. His defense stretched on the fact that he wasn't a murderer, and the jury in the case came to a unanimous not guilty verdict on the murder charge after less than 10 minutes of deliberation. However, District Attorney Hilar Moore stated that the killing seemed to be over turf. If convicted, Boosie could have faced the death penalty. Luckily for him, he wasn't convicted. But one thing we know about Boosie Badass is that he runs out of luck. The following year, in 2011, he was sentenced to eight years in prison after pleading guilty to three counts of conspiring to smuggle drugs in the state prisons. However, in 2012, his attorney argued that he was actually set up and he was released in 2014. He remained on parole until 2018 when he became a free man. Boosie may be out of prison and without any legal issues, but the man doesn't stay far away from trouble. Over the past year, he has stirred up some pretty crazy controversies that have fetched him some backlashes and every celebrity's most feared word on the internet, hashtag canceled. In February 2020, Boosie received heavy backlash on the internet after he went on a transphobic rant against Dwayne Wade's 12-year-old daughter, Zaya Wade, who came out as transgender at the time. He took to his Instagram page to offer his two cents on the Wade family matter, and he said, don't cut his off, bruh. Like, bruh, for real. If he gonna be gay, let him be gay. But don't cut his off, bruh. Don't dress him as a woman, dog. He's 12 years old. He's not up there yet. He hasn't made his final decisions yet. Don't cut his 
off Dwayne Wade. Boosie faced backlash from several people, including celebrities like Mike Tyson, who confronted him about his takes, but Boosie stood by his comment. After his incident with the Wades, Boosie Badass seemed to have unlocked his homophobic ranting traits, and he had a prey. Old Town Road rapper Lil Nas X. Sometime in July 2021, Lil Nas X made a joke about performing naked at the VMAs. Boosie Badass went on his Instagram Live and issued a threat to the rapper, saying, If I'm at the awards and he goes up there naked, I'm gonna drag his ass off stage and beat his ass. As always, he defended his comments. Boosie went on to defend his comments in an episode of The Breakfast Club, telling Charlemagne the God, If you're trying to raise children, would you be cool with sitting there and trying to watch Nas X go up there and take his clothes off? If you do, Charlemagne, you're a part of the problem. And I was like, damn, you know, all these straight people in the world, all these millions of kids gonna watch this and no straight rap, I ain't gonna say, hey, nah. Boosie must get some change because he has a lot of two cents to spare. Lil Nas X's recent pregnancy photo shoot stirred up several homophobic comments online. You can trust Boosie Badass to hop on that train. Boosie tweeted, Nas X, what the fuck? You just don't stop, he wrote. I think he's gonna turn around and suck one of his background dancers on national TV. Hashtag protect yours, hashtag God turning over in his grave. Boosie has shown the world he's homophobic and that he isn't ready to move with the times. But for someone who makes comments about how people should raise their kids, it was quite disappointing when he openly revealed that he paid an adult woman to perform oral on his son and nephew, age 13 and 12 at the time. Both kids were below the age of consent in every state in the US. In the video where he revealed this, he also stated that he allowed his minor son to watch pornography quoting that it was more appropriate than watching cartoons with two men kissing. Boosie also claimed he had shown his son how to put on a condom when he was only 9 or 10 years old. Yes, that's how I raised him. I don't care what y'all say, he said. It's better than watching cartoons. That's why they have iPhone 11s. They can watch as much porn as they want. It's better than them watching cartoons with two men kissing. Yeah, it's like that. Yeah, we raised them different. That's just how it is. This statement had many people furious, and Boosie was accused of promoting sexual abuse. One tweet read, Boosie admitting that facilitating the molestation of preteens by an adult woman should be enough for his account to be deleted and banned at the very minimum. Another comment said, Boosie and the woman who gave the 12 and 13 year old oral should be in trouble with the law. Let it have been an older man doing that to a young girl, he'd be under the jail, as he should, but they should both be in hella trouble. All the backlashes forced Boosie to take down the videos where he said those things, but you can trust the internet to always keep records. Enough of the negative talk on Boosie. I mean, aside from his frequent issues, he's still a talented rapper, and these days, he's sliding through the movie industry. How about we check out... Besides his recent arrest, Boosie Badass has been making some career moves lately. In fact, he recently produced and starred in his biopic titled My Struggle. The biopic, which was released on September 24th, 2021, showcases Boosie Badass' journey from his childhood and features important chapters of his life. The film also features some well-known personalities like YFN Lucci, Quando Rondo, and late American rapper and singer Mo3. The film was shot in the rapper's hometown Baton Rouge, Louisiana. It uncovers Boosie's rise to fame and the controversies that surrounded him while rising to the top. I save a lot of money on my film and I put them out on my own website. So, you know, uh, real, real grateful for me right now, I'm blessed. He began his rap career in the late 1990s and in 2000 while performing with the stage name Lil Boosie. He released his debut album titled Youngest of the Camp. The album made it to number 96 on the Billboard Top 100 charts. Over time, Boosie Badass has released seven different albums, each topping a different chart. His album Incarcerated was released while he was in prison for the aforementioned murder charges. The rapper has also released several mixtapes and hit singles like Wipe Me Down, Show the World, Zoom, Better Believe It, and Independent, among others. In 2008, Boosie launched his own record label, Badass Entertainment. He's collaborated with label mate Webby on numerous projects, the first of which was organized by the late Pimp C, who was the CEO of Boosie's label at the time, that being Trill Entertainment. He's also worked with the likes of Young Jock, Webby, Young Jeezy, David Banner, Baby Boy the Prince, DJ Khaled, Young Buck, Game, Rick Ross, Hurricane Chris, Lola Monroe, and Pimp C, as well as many others. In all, Boosie has been quite successful in his music career, but one thing about the man is, he always had a problem with the law. I mean, what's a rapper without legal drama? Anyway, Boosie had a recent run-in with the feds, and I'm about to spill the tea on what went down. As for his music, Boosie Badass hasn't put any new tracks out there lately, but he certainly isn't retired. Boosie has, however, been performing in several concerts lately, so you can catch him at one of his concerts, just don't get into a fight. Anywhere Boosie Badass goes, there's always something dramatic cooking. As for his recent arrest, the only news is that he's been released, so we're not certain if the charges will be taken to court or if Boosie will be let out easily. 